Uh, apparently we lost episode one to this, but that's fine. Uh, hope you enjoy this, uh, super hot episode. Super hot. Super hot. Super hot. God. Okay, let's click. Are we back? Oh, oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> More. More? Okay, that's not terrifying at all. Ominous red button that just says more, mate. There won't be any closure. Ooh. Is this, is this that just senseless killing. More senseless killing. More. You want you it? Want it? It's yours, Take these. I have hearts? Oh, fuck. This is Undertale. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. I'd say more uh, Zelda, but... Oh, Ooh. Oh, I got a key card. And we're at a bar. Chicken, not stirred, please. Is this yours? You killed him with the key card. <laughs> or with the credit card. Excuse is, me, is sir. Your margarita. Is this how the casino uh, handles declined cards? They just kind of impale them in your face? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Casino. Oh, I guess this is a casino. Also, why is everyone still being host? Oh, wait, I guess that's the effect. I have three hots. I gotta say, I oh, love God. the casino action scene. Not enough of them. Oh god! That, that dude just came right around. Ah oh, shit! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm sorry, that scared me. Okay, you were definitely supposed to get hit by that guy, I think. Oh, now you're in a bar. Oh. Oh. A different oh. bar. Wait a second. Wait, now what What the fuck is this thing? Uh, I dodged that bullet. That's a board with a nail in it. Wait, this isn't the first game. No, it's the second what? one. I played through the first one. No, 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 no. This looks As in like this a... level. Yeah. I don't know. It's definitely not, because we're in a chem lab now. No, no, I played this from the first game. It's one of like, the endless loops. Whoa, what? Oh. This is... Oh, I guess I killed everybody. You handed over control. No, I didn't. I haven't yet. This is just me, see? Press R to watch replay. Press F5 to upload it for an achievement. Nope. Caught. No, it just said super. Oh god, I don't like how that looks. Oh no. Hello. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Ah. Is that a gun? Yeah. Got oh, fish. fish. No. no! <laughs> That guy just came in with a sword. More power to him. Uh, uh -oh. Ah! Him. oh my god, they just... <laughs> he killed the other guy with fish! <laughs> so you know what that means, though. I definitely killed the other guy with fish before I turned yeah, around. Yeah. I mean, hey, if it's that color, it's a weapon. <laughs> I just love the fact... I just love that was like two or three fish to this dude, and it works. Yeah, of course. John Maybe Wick... he had a seafood allergy. <laughs> John Wick, it reminds me of that bit where John Wick throws all the knives into that dude's face, except, you know, that's fish. I now demand a scene in John Wick 4 where Keanu Reeves just starts beating the shit out of a guy with a salmon. Maybe we'll get into the fifth movie. How come he didn't get hit? Are you gonna grab? Yeah. You're much more conscious of behind you after the last time. <laughs> I know now. I see the code. I have become the Matrix. Oh god, the weeb. Shit, he's a weeaboo! Look at that, he's got a Kill the weeaboo! <laughs> now I have the power of the weeaboo. That's not a power you want. Razinga! Resist. Don't fuck with me. I have the power of code like... and anime this time. Wait, I didn't even kill that guy on the right, though. Yeah, I didn't kill everybody. Maybe I just hit the most important guy in the room? Maybe the game's fucking with you? So, I feel like I found this out recently. I learned about this story recently, and I feel like it's thematically appropriate to the game we're playing. Yeah. Um... So, I'm gonna have to set up a bit of backstory, and it's gonna sound like it's got nothing to do with this, but I promise it's leading somewhere. 
in the like I think it's the beginning of the 20th century there was the spiritualist movement which was basically like the whole thing that gave us like Ouija boards the planchette and all that crap yeah um and like obviously the big highlight of the spiritualist movement was all the fucking like mediums and psychics that like came about and like got a ton of work doing all that yeah mm -hmm. so this one dude he took it real far <laughs> in a big way see he didn't claim like he well first he like a lot of other mediums claimed that he could uh go into a trance and like speak to the spirits of like deceased people usually famous people mm -hmm. but his was very specific he uh insisted he was talking to like geniuses of american history like ben franklin and like shit like that um and he told people that this uh group of spirits that were talking to him instructed him that he was going to bring about the second coming of christ okay. i'm gonna let you process that uh because there's a bigger twist to that that I'm about to give you. And I want you to just settle with that knowledge first. So, not only... So he was told he's got to bring about the second coming of Christ. But it's not going to be like it happened the first time with some like human baby and shit like that. No. This time, Christ is going to be born... The Messiah is going to be born as a machine. Oh. He claimed he was instructed to build a machine called the infant motor that would house the spirit of Christ. What? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> so this yes. dude he goes to the he goes to this property, builds this whole property because he says the ghosts told him to. And then proceeds to like spend a shit ton of money and time and a lot of other people's resources building this machine. Uh and then he takes it even further by getting this woman to act as the proverbial Virgin Mary for this. It's nuts. Like, I'm not going to go into the details of that part. But eventually, this awkward little machine is, like, built, and he claims it successfully housed the, like... Again, he called it the infant motor. Now, obviously, uh, as comes with the spiritualist movement, a lot of people thought he was full of shit. Yeah. Shockingly. Oh shit, now there's a second you next to the first I've you. I've become the player. You Don't. gotta kill yourself again. Damn it, that's such hard work. Oh yeah! <laughs> that impression was a little too good. Yeah. I actually thought for a second I talked. That was the game. Anyway, so after that, in addition, due to the specific thing he was saying was happening, he not only got a whole got the attention of all the weird skeptics. Oh shit! Mm -hmm. The AI is like, oh, you rescued the president. You are best in the world. My parents are proud of me. You fulfilled your destiny. <laughs> <laughs> Did it actually say your parents are proud of you? Yeah. You don't have to do this again, but we're going to. Oh, thank God. I mean, oh good. Is it gonna do the credits all over again? Yeah. All right, people, thanks for joining us on Lone Night Gaming. Oh, it's not even stopping anymore on this time. Actually, I'm holding anyway. the click. Oh, never mind, I'm not doing that. It's so, deleting itself. Due to the fact that he was basically proclaiming he had brought about the second coming of Christ, he also pissed off evangelical Christians. Uh, of course. And basically, blah 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 he claimed he felt that the infant motor was in danger, so he moved it like halfway across the country to a different property. Didn't let anyone see it the entire time. And then about, I think it was like years later, he claimed that one night a group of like angry evangelicals broke into his house and destroyed it. Uh -huh. Actually, no, his specific claim was that they it ripped out its heart. <laughs> oh, did they? Yeah. Um, of course, like I said, he hadn't let anyone see it, so the prevailing theory is that he probably just got rid of it on its own to get out of the game and blamed it on someone else. Although the people who actually somewhat believed him somehow claimed that the infant motor was too weak, so he's hid it away to grow stronger and older because it's basically a baby. 
This thing's gonna grow up to become fucking super, uh, super mega death size three thousand. And that and that robot baby's name now, Optimus Prime. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I think of, like, the spiritual movement, I always think of how Harry Houdini would fucking go to, like, media. Oh my god, yes. And he would just fuck with them. He'd be like, they're like, I'm sensing this strong energy. Did you have an Uncle Jeff? Like, yeah, Wait. yeah. Is this just a straight-up yeah. RPG now? Just yes. to interrupt your Jesus story for a second? No, no, keep going. Like... This. Is this your skill tree? I think this is my skill tree. What is going on? I'm level zero in the upper right, if you saw. And yo, yo, hit, yo! Hit Here's the newest hot track! Hot track. Yo, yo! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, shit! This track's a so killer! Nice hat. <laughs> but no, it's so weird. Like... Yo, yo, yo. Sorry. Uh, like I said, the, uh, the, he, he claimed the machine was destroyed, uh, so we don't obviously have, like, an actual, like, image of what it looked like, but yeah. people have, like, d done, like, drawings of it from descriptions, and, like, someone even recreated it from the description. It's so weird. Mm -hmm. Like, if you want to look it up, look up John Murray Spear God Machine. Kevin, uh, or whoever edits this, put up a pic put up a picture of it uh, right now. So you mean well, me? I'll put it in chat for later. All right, Good. not a problem. Ooh. I will download that soon. Hot. Well, as I was saying, was Harry Houdini would like bullshit with mediums, and then whenever they like be like, yeah, yeah, your uncle's here, or, yeah, yeah, and then he'd be like, hey, you dumb bitch, I don't have an uncle. Go fuck yourself, and he would leave. Oh yeah, Houdini got off on like fucking with mediums. But now, every day, every like Halloween or like every day on his death, people would get Ouija boards and try to summon Harry Houdini. And I'd like to think that they're doing it right and they're actually getting him, but he's just way He's just bitter. refusing to talk. <laughs> yep. He's uh, like, fuck out you, of bitterness. <laughs> You have mastered the katana, while well, I have wa mastered the other weeaboo art, the shuriken. Sure you, sure you can. Sure what you shot can. me? Oh! Hi, friend! Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Take like- just sneaking up on you. I took like six shots. I took- Whoa, Kevin, you might want to take it easy. You may want to drink some water after six shots. Oh, man. Alcohol. Oops. Right we didn't read what happens there. Uh, T chaps? Uncle I wrote you disappointed in you there. You gonna dodge that bullet? I was! <laughs> Speaking of Uncle I wrote. Cool. Uh, That's what I wanted. Legend of Korra is finally on I definitely didn't want this thing. Oh, yeah, it is. I watched the first episode and it's pretty good. Hey, I, I think it got a lot more flack than it ever deserved. It absolutely did. Hey, look, is the original show better? Yes. Oh, but, absolutely. Cool. But that's not to say Korra wasn't quality on its own. There you are, friend. Up. Oh, I on lost all my topic, health because I'm a dumbass. Netflix is going to understand how bad they fucked up by driving away the original creators from the live action series? If they haven't already figured it out, then they're way too stubborn for their own good. Hmm. Here's an uh, idea. Let's stop with that. Stop with what? Uh, live action Avatar. Oh, yeah. yeah. Don't get me wrong. When the original creators were like on it, I'm like, okay, I can see this working. Like people were excited for the last Airbender before Shyamalan fucked it. I would say more the studio fucked it, but yeah. I mean, <laughs> he wasn't much better, but he was definitely Wait. not fully at fault for it. Why did that guy's head explode? I don't know. I was actually just wondering that. I nothing actually hit him. His head just blew up. Is it because what, of my skills? My was he like, oh, that was sick, and his mind exploded? <laughs> What's that really fucked up joke? What if there was no shooter, John F. Kennedy's head just did that? <laughs> what if, like, 
He was just like, you know what? In a few years, there'll, there'll be this act on, oh, on TikTok yeah. and YouTube won't be as cringy. And then he just like heard that and his mind exploded. I don't know. President. This what is the it? stupidest assassination explanation I've ever heard. I remember I was listening to a podcast talking about JFK's assassination. And the guy, it was like the governor of Texas, I think, that was in the car with him. Uh-huh. And he like turned to him and he goes, Hey, what can I tell you, Jack? People of Dallas love you. And then really? after he said that, <laughs> cool. Like, man, that's timing. Yeah. Um, so we're 15 minutes in. Our bolt guns have more ammo. Alrighty, let's call it guns good have with more. This. Oh no, 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 no! You can also choose fastmove.hack. What's that do? Oh, I move faster. Mine. Oh, wait, I could have chosen? Yep. Is this is this a roguelike now? I swear to god. It feels a little like a weird road roguelike, and I'm yeah. kind of okay with that. I know. Next time on Lone Night Gaming, we continue messing up the system and killing innocent people maybe. I mean, Man, the actual plot behind this game is very dark. Oh yeah. It's like it's Ugh, super it's dark. So like AI crap like just gets real dark in a lot of these games. Yeah. Anyway, next time on Lone Night Gaming. Yay. Yeah.